Hey guys, who remembers that song, man? <laughs> Such an amazing cartoon from our childhood. And what do we have here today? We have something that, honestly, I'm surprised no one has even thought about doing for the last 20 years, right? The original cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or as they were known in the UK and some other parts of the world, the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Okay, so I think some of you already know about the statue. This is a private commission done by a good friend of mine, um, MG, Muhammad Ghaith, uh, Ghaith MG, or I don't know, he has many uh, Facebook accounts, man. <laughs> I should track him down. Anyway, so quickly, this statue he commissioned a while back and it's taken some time for him to do. He's doing a very, very limited run. I believe he's doing only 50 of these, right? And uh, they are roughly one-fifth scale, I think. And I'll show you why I think it's one-fifth scale. And they have a nice solid weight to them. Resin, you have the base, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo and Michelangelo. So you're basically getting four statues, one-fifth scale, all together in an iconic pose that was made very popular from the cartoons. Now, before I get into the details of the statue, etc., uh, I want to make clear, this is a prototype, but it's basically more or less the final version that they're going to go with. Um, installation and the way you put the statue together is pretty simple. You have the base, and I like the nice, uh, you know, asphalt look that they've gone with. Then you install Donatello. He comes as one piece. His head, uh, the bow staff at the back, and the sewer cover with his hands. Everything goes on with magnets except the back of the bandana and the bow staff. Uh, then you can install... Michelangelo, same deal, heads, hands, and on the back you have his nunchucks. Raphael, same deal, Leonardo, the same deal. I'll just show you the back. I have to say, guys, the quality on this statue really surprised me. So you have the Sai for Raphael, the twin katanas for Leonardo, and the nunchucks for Michelangelo. Okay, so this is, you can get a quick 360. Like I said, I love the detail on the base. It fits the theme of the turtles really nice. Lots of nice detail on the back. Even though a lot of people won't get to see that, unfortunately. But I love the fact that they went this. And look at this, guys. Look at this. This is something else. Okay, let's see. So that's a nice 360. There's a nice detail. Close up. Leonardo, Michelangelo, no googly eyes, right? So Sideshow, pay attention. You can actually do eyes without being cockeyed. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's Donatello. Now one thing I noticed is, because Donatello's carrying the sewer cap, he gets a nice shade to him, but it's nice. It's, it's, uh, it's very realistic in terms of shading and the way the light would hit him. All right. Lovely. Now, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, the front of their uh, belts with the letters are also magnetic. Except I think Donatello where it's already fixed. But those you can fix as well. I can show you for one. There you go. Oh no, I think his hand is there. Maybe we choose Leonardo. There you go. My strong magnets. So guys, like I said, a very small private commission done by MG. Uh, limited to only 50 pieces. So once they're sold out, they're sold out, right? And if you want them, I suggest you get on the horn immediately. Email the guy, private message him, whatever. 
and get it because I really love them. And I'm sorry to say one is gone already, which is for me. <laughs> so you have 49 left, guys. Simply amazing. I love this. And it's a true throwback to the cartoon. I think there was another company that tried to do them, Icon Collectibles, but the color was all wrong, the shading was all wrong, even the looks was all wrong. This is basically the cartoon coming to life for me. And, okay, one thing, before I final sign off, the size test. See, they were so cool, Mr. Tony Stark showed up. Six scale Hot Toys figure. And that's what they scale up. So if we factor in the base, they are roughly about 11 inches tall each. And if we consider... Third, yeah, so Leonardo in terms of centimeters is about 35 centimeters. Um, so if you figure in that they are based on the originals and they were supposed to be shorter than humans. So that's why I figured they're about roughly one-fifth scale. In terms of cost, uh, I'm not sure about the final pricing, but I think uh, they are going to price them at roughly a thousand dollars for the entire set. Basically, you're paying two fifty per turtle. Uh, shipping, I'm not sure. Obviously, then you'll have to speak to him. But that's the price that I got, roughly. And it's uh, like I said, limited production, fifty turtles only, or fifty sets, right? Uh, what else? Weight. Uh, the weight is about the weight is about in kg. I would say roughly 15 kg. So it can, the box is nice and sturdy to protect them. So it's about 15 kg. So that will factor into roughly 30 pounds. One more thing that uh, MG told me is, as an additional bonus, he's going to throw in a commemorative coin for all the 50 orders, all of them, so which is cool. I, I haven't got the final details on how the coin would look like. Hopefully I'll tag him on the, uh, on the, on, on the post and maybe he'll give us details. But I think, if I remember my conversations with him, it will be basically something for the design like uh, the sewer cap, right? Maybe, I don't know, maybe they will be numbered or not, but basically, uh, so they they will actually be numbered, I think, yeah, maybe. Anyway, so uh, I'll tag him in the post, and then maybe he can chime in and confirm to us. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, amazing throwback to the cartoon. Oh, okay. And uh, let me see if I can get a post of the, uh, a picture of the coin. I'll post it as well. Like I said, if you're a turtles fan, you have to get this. If you do not get this, trust me, you'll regret it. Right? Because everyone knows how, how costly the Sideshow Turtles are right now. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, this is me, Pop Culture Mad, signing out.